What's going on guys? Today's Wednesday, November 20th. Uh, I got to the shop and I picked up my new books for today. And I also got a uh, Silver Age key, which I'm gonna go, which I'm gonna show first. Uh, I saw this behind the counter and I was able to uh, talk my shop owner down a bit and get a really good price on it. So this is Action Comics number 340. Uh, Silver Age, first appearance of the Parasite. It's been on my list for a little while. Uh, and I, I just saw this copy, so I decided to grab it. It's, uh, it's in really good condition, too. Little spine stuff and some corner, uh, creases, but nothing too bad other than that. And it's a really awesome cover. Okay, and now we're into the new books. This, this is a really awesome week for independent books, so I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to show, um, my Marvel and DC first. Only, only book for Marvel this week, this is, um... Daredevil number 33, really awesome uh, Samney cover there. I liked the last issue with the, the Marvel Monsters, so uh, it, seem, it seems to, uh, they're taking this story arc in a direction that I didn't think it was going to go, so uh, I'm interested to, uh, to get into that book as well. Okay, I got three books from DC. I'm just feeling so like indifferent about DC right now, especially because all these books are... Um, tying into other stuff well the, these two books uh these next two books uh are still in their normal stories but i mean trinity of sin pandora number five i said i wasn't gonna get this but it was in my box so um i don't know i decided to get it anyway i'm just so over forever evil and i'm so over zero year and all these books tying into each other i just I just want my normal stories, and that's why I'm glad I picked these two books up, because uh, they actually have consistent stories. This is Animal Man number 25. Yep, 25. Really awesome Albuquerque cover there. Continuing this Brother Blood storyline with uh, Albuquerque and the interiors as well. This book, that book, and Swamp Thing uh, are in their normal stories still, and so is uh, Wonder Woman number 25. Uh... No Cliff Chang on the art again, but uh, like I said in my the last time this book came out, uh, what's his name? Goran Sadzuka. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, he does. He has a pretty similar art style to Cliff Chang. He does a pretty good job in keeping the, the tone similar to what it usually is. And uh, this book's just awesome. I love this book. It's a hard one to jump on, though, because it's just one big, long story. But that's all the, uh, the Marvel DC I picked up, and I think I have six independent books. Yep. Uh, we'll start with the one from IDW. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number five. This is just a light read. I wouldn't suggest it is necessarily essential uh, as far as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle books go, but this is one that uh, that I really enjoy uh, every week. I look forward to uh, reading it when it comes out. From only one Dark Horse book, this is BPRD, Hell on Earth number 113. This is Lake of Fire part uh, part three, maybe part four. I think it's part three. Really awesome Albuquerque cover there as well. Uh, I've been liking this Liz storyline quite a bit. Uh, she's sort of getting her powers back and, uh, and doing her own thing. So can't wait to read that. From Vertigo, this is The Wake, number five. I think they took a month off. But, uh, number four, I think, was my least favorite out of all the issues so far. So we'll see if this one picks up where, uh, you know, it takes me back to uh, to thinking about to thinking how great this book is. We'll see. Okay, and we have uh, a book. This is a book from Abstract Studio. This is Rachel Rising number twenty one. Really awesome witchcraft storyline with uh, with uh, black and white interior artwork, all done by Terry Moore. The writing and the artwork. Uh, I was picking this book up sort of uh, off the radar, not on Wednesdays when it came out. Um, but I've added it to my pull list, so now I'm going to get it on a, on a regular basis when it comes out. But, um, if you're into horror and you're into witchcraft and type, that type of stuff, if you like Coffin Hill, this is the book you need to be reading because, uh, it is better than, uh, all those other witchcraft books that are coming out right now. Uh, this is, uh, Red Sony number five, really another fantastic Jenny Frizen cover. I can't even express how much I love her artwork and how much I love, uh, the covers that she does, not only on these Red Sonya books, but also her um, her revival covers that she did. I think they're just absolutely amazing. So, uh, And this book has been good. Gail Simone's doing a really awesome job on this book, so can't wait to read that. You know, it kind of feels like it's been a while since it came out. And, that, and finally, probably my most anticipated book of this week, um, 
a lot of people are really loving this book now, and I'm glad. Uh, this is Afterlife with Archie number two. I was uh, I was going to pick this book up the second I knew that Francesco Francavia was doing the artwork. So um, The storyline's pretty good, too. I'd never read an Archie book before this, so it's sort of my first experience, and I know it's not your traditional Archie thing, and I think that's why I like it. But uh, check this book out if you can. I know first prints of number one are scarce. I think they're coming out with a second print, so if you want to check it out, you can pick that book up. But uh, that's all the stuff that I picked up this week. I'm going to another comic show on Sunday. Um, we'll see how much I end up picking up. I might just um, set, pop in there shortly and just grab a few things. But um, big thanks to you guys for watching. I apologize for being somewhat absent lately as far as commenting uh, on other people's videos and also replying to comments on my own videos. School's getting kind of crazy, so I'm trying to manage everything the best that I can. Uh, I assure you that I'm still reading all your comments and I'm still, I still appreciate all the support you guys give me. I just haven't been, haven't had the time to, to sit down and reply to them all. I'm going to try and be better about that this week. And then also I'm still watching everybody else's videos, but I'm not, uh, I'm doing a lot. I'm doing it while I'm doing other things and I don't have the time to leave comments or whatever, but, uh, I will, uh, in a few weeks I'll get back to my normal, my normal routine and stuff, but, um, Big thanks to you guys again for checking out my video. I'll be back uh, probably on Sunday, showing you guys what I picked up from this show on, on Sunday. But uh, thanks you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Take care.